Hello, everyone. Welcome to our live. I will, as always, give a couple of people to um, get the notification that we are live, and then we'll dive right in. I'm Kelly Walters, and today we are going over five things that you need to start a heat printing business at home. Now, maybe you want to start this not at home. You can do that as well, but these five things are definitely going to propel you forward in your t-shirt decorating business. So how is everybody's Thanksgiving? And as you are scratching my eyeball, as you are coming on live with us in the comments, say hi, tell us where you're from. Um, and if you aren't up for typing in the comments, you don't worry. Uh, just give us like a, a heart or a thumbs up if you can hear us and see us just fine. Hi, Carol. How are you? Oh, one sec. Test, test. Um, Vince, you're saying mic problems. <clears throat> Let's try this. <laughs> we'll pivot. Okay, I'm going to go off camera for just a second, um, but I'll be right back. We're going to put this mic on and see if that helps, okay? Or maybe not. Okay. Should I just carry it around this mic today, like this? Hmm? Okay, normally this is the mic that I use when I'm at my desk, but since I'm starting at the press, we'll see if this adjusts anything. Okay, can you guys hear me a little bit better if I'm using this mic versus the computer mic? Test, test. Can you hear me? <gasps> okay, cool. Let's rock and roll. So we are going to go over five things to start a heat uh, a heat printing business in home. And I've had more and more people actually reach out, um, friends that are like, Hey, I think I want to start a t-shirt business. I don't, I don't know what I need except for the heat press. And ultimately that's what you need is the heat press, right? You can't do anything without the heat press. So that is going to be our number one is you need a heat press. And I encourage you to really look at all options. I understand people have budgets and um, sometimes the goal is just to get the business live and make that money and then maybe upgrade equipment in the future. But it's so important that you start putting out quality products to your customers now don't think about, oh, I'll get a better press to have better products later. Because when you launch your business, people are going to start judging you and your products from that minute that you launch. And I mean judging because they are consumers, they're going to buy it, it's a tangible product, and they want to make sure that it is of superb quality because they're spending their money on it. So when you are evaluating your presses, we want to make sure you can read uh, temperature, and time and some presses out there you can just get time there's some presses out there that maybe say high medium low for temp and we want to make sure that we have an accurate reading on temperature if you use stalls products transfer express products we have a time temperature and pressure reading temperature that's what your heating element needs to be cooking at Okay, time is obviously for how long your heating element stays on top of your 
garment. And then pressure is actually how firm this heating element is placed upon whatever is uh, being applied. So all three of those things are TTP, time, temperature, pressure, and they make up the recipe to give you a successful heat transfer application. Now this has been wash tested. So with us, you get those instructions. We are telling you how to bake the cake. If you have a press that doesn't tell you what you need to bake at, so you don't know what temperature, you don't know how long, of course we can count in our head, we can set timers, but the other important thing is pressure. So I strongly, strongly encourage you to really look at those elements when you are choosing a heat press and do your best within your budget to get you the one that is going to benefit you from the start. Like I said, I'm gonna keep going over budgets. I will drill that as many times as possible, but sometimes it's worth to spend just a little bit more in this business at the beginning versus having to eat something and spend more later, right? If if you've had to do that, then um, just put whatever emoji in the comments where you thought you made the right decision and then you had to turn around and spend more money to fix that decision that you maybe should have done a little bit more research on. And that's okay because that's part of being a business owner and that is part of being the expert of your business and learning from experience. But sometimes it's also humbling for newbies to come on and see that it's okay to not know what you're doing because we are here to help you, right? Okay, so the press, boom, this is what you need. This is your bread and butter. This will keep you alive. You can do garments, accessories, boxes you guys know we're printing on boxes now this is what you need first and foremost and it is the number one priority okay second you need a way to design so you have these ideas how do you get them on a garment what transfers how do you get them in transfer form now if you are not looking at um learning how to do Corel or Adobe, that's totally fine. There are applications like the Vinyl Designer from Stalls. It's free. You just have to have um, a login. So go to stalls.com, S-T-A-H-L-S. And what you're going to do is register. It's free. Even if you've never purchased from us, it is free to use. So go sign up for that. It is a very, very... Um, user-friendly experience and there are several videos on youtube that you can check out to learn more about it and of course we are always doing more and more content based on the vinyl designer now the vinyl designer doesn't have to just be used for vinyl this just gives you the ability to export your files and um, either order them from stalls or if you have a, cr a cricket or a silhouette you can put them in there. So you need a place to design. If you're looking at maybe doing screen printed transfers, then you've got to go to transferexpress.com and utilize the easy view online designer. Now you can design in the vinyl designer and upload in the easy view designer, but the online designer from transfer express is so robust and absolutely incredible that you can design for just about any category, any market in their system. Same thing you need to register. Okay. So you have to go to transferexpress.com, register, log in. And when you design, you can simply place those in the cart in order and it makes it super, super simple. There are other design programs out there, but those two are free. If you do have a Cricut or a Silhouette currently, then there are design options on those platforms as well. Some cost, um, but you also have the basics. The Vinyl Designer and Easy View Online Designer are both free, and we give you the tools to be successful in your t-shirt decorating business, okay? So up next, transfers. 
Okay. This is, this is super, this is super easy. Transfers. You have no idea what you're doing. You don't know what you need. What is a transfer? How do I print my transfers? How do I make my transfers? Well, the, the beautiful thing is you don't have to print them. You don't have to make them. You don't have to do any weeding. You don't have to worry about uh, craft cutters. You don't have to worry about having an industrial cutter. I've got my Roland here, and then I have a, a silhouette right by my computer. And we'll do them for you. We will make your transfers, and we will send them to you ready to be applied. Okay, so let's just go over a couple of those because the press is easy. Time and temperature, right? Those are key. The pressure is really going to set you up for the best success. And you want quality. There's more details that we could go over about the press. So if you guys have any questions, please pop them in the comments. But I want to be very mindful of your time today and make sure you have those five things that you need. And then you can dive deeper on conversation and questions, okay? The second I said was a designer. You need to find a way to bring your ideas to life. And how, how do we make everything be tangible, okay? Third, transfers. This one is specifically a stalls box, but Transfer Express comes just like this, and it would say Transfer Express. Now, I have this uh, loaded with several different types of transfers, but I will tell you, you don't need to print anything. You do not need to invest your money in a direct to film printer because we do it super easy for you. Okay. You can spend your time prospecting, uh, working social media, getting those products online, photo shoots. You can spend all of your time doing all the marketing because whew, we all know that that takes a lot today and use the other time that you could have been making these. We'll do it. We send it. Okay. Now, whether you need screen printed transfers, okay, this is what's going to come from Transfer Express, the Easy View Designer, okay? This was created using the online designer at Transfer Express. These tags were also created on the online designer. We made a gang sheet, which means you can put whatever you need to on a sheet, and this is how you order it. So... If you need to order six, 12, whatever, that's how it comes. This is another example. You can actually find some reels um, and YouTube videos using this design, but this was all created in the, by, uh, excuse me, Easy View Online Designer. And when I made my sheet, I sent it to cart and I checked out and this is how it comes. So I will just cut these apart. So if you're going, okay, I don't need to do screen print because this is how it's printed. It's a transfer. So you can do screen printed transfers. You can do full color transfers such as direct to film or printable material. And then you can also do texture like vinyl. So glitter or flock. I know those are a lot of words if you are new to this industry that, um, you're going, Kelly, you're talking so fast. I have no idea everything. The biggest thing you need to know is that at Stalls and Transfer Express, we have an assortment of transfers and you have a team, an entire group of people that are willing and ready and love their job and they want to make sure that you get the right transfer. So utilize them if you do not know what you need to do, okay? So screen printed, direct to film. From stalls, you can order your vinyl, okay? You can get your fun glitter. And you can even get a really, really thin t-shirt material if you're kind of wanting to experiment and see which type of transfer you enjoy using the most. Um, earlier Carly had popped up the, what to use when guide. So I'm just going to pop this on uh, comments or excuse me on the down below. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so if you didn't see this comment on Facebook or on YouTube, scroll back up and you will find it. And this will actually take you to a grid that you can download to really help determine what transfer you need to use when. So this is an excellent tool. You should be able to use it for anything. And once you get really, really familiar, then you won't need it anymore until a new product comes out and, and we change it, right? Um, okay, so between full color, screen print one, color two, color vinyl, glitter, you can order all of those. You don't need to spend 20 grand on screen printing equipment. You don't need to spend uh, 10 grand on a sublimation printer. You can order sublimation transfers as well. You can keep this as super, super simple. The only equipment you need is this kid right here. Something that is going to give you great um, even heat in that TTP we just talked about. Um, okay, let me go quickly through the comments. I've seen a couple of things pop up. Um, hello from Mexico. Oh, Jamaica. I thought I saw hello from Mexico too. Ah, perfect timing. Okay, so uh, Patrick said um, he is new into the business and would you mind if you explain the difference between HTV sublimation and heat press? So can you clarify what you mean by heat press? Do you mean like a heat press Equipment, this is a heat press. So this is the unit we need to make. How do I not have a decorated garment? <laughs> okay. We used this. Oh, no. Okay, sorry, guys. Don't know what happened there. Um, we used this heat press to put these letters on this garment, okay? So these are heat transfer letters, and this is the heat press, and that's what we used to make this garment be decorated, okay, come to life. Um, sublimation is still a transfer where ink is printed, a certain type of ink is printed onto a paper, and then from there, you take that paper and you apply it to a garment. And that ink essentially gets infused into the garment. Okay, so it's still considered a heat transfer. The difference is sublimation goes into the fibers. So you should not be able to fill sublimation. Sublimation also requires 100% polyester, um, and I know there are decorators out there that have kind of created their own uh, brand with sublimation where they've been able to do a couple of blends, but they have done rigorous testing on which garments can withstand and wash well with the sublimation. If you were to put sublimation on a 100% cotton garment, you might see it done right then and there, but then you head to the washer and is gonna wash out, it's, it's gonna disappear. So uh, HTV is heat transfer vinyl. So that would be one of these transfers that I had just showed you guys, where it is a roll of material like this and a machine comes and cuts out your design and like I was saying, we would send it to you ready to be applied. So HTV is vinyl. Sublimation is just more ink directly onto the garment. Okay. Let's see. Um, Theo, I see your question about the sawgrass. I want to buy sawgrass. Okay, so 
the there's a middle part you don't want to do chrome last only but do more cotton shirts so you're looking for an option for cotton um i will answer this in just in just a bit so i will come back to it okay okay so carol right here um i had asked if anybody had this experience where they thought let me just get a press let me just get in there i can fiddle with it make some money so she actually says that she bought a cheap press and that was her mistake, right? So I know we all have to take into consideration what we are able to spend to start up our business. Um, but Carol right here is the nail on the head where she ended up having to fix that later on down the road. Okay, Carly has also posted the Easy View designer from Transfer Express as well as the vinyl designer from Stalls. And da, 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 da. oh, awesome. So um, I am so sorry, I do not know how to pronounce your name and I do not want to mess it up. But uh, this person has actually used Premium Plus and it's an excellent material. So Premium Plus is HTV, so it's heat transfer vinyl. So what you can do is go to one of those designers. Uh, well, excuse me, you'll have to go to the vinyl designer. You can doodle create in there. And then you can upload your design into stalls.com. And within reason, because there are certain uh, restrictions that we do have on art that we can cut, we can cut it for you and send you those premium plus logos ready to be applied. You turn on your heat press and you are good to go. Okay, so let's um, get going and I promise I will continue to go back through the questions as we keep moving forward, okay? So you've got your press, you know where to design, you've got your transfers or at least the idea of transfers that you kind of wanna start dabbling with. Printing accessories. Maybe you wanna do something other than t-shirts. So what is it that you can use to print on legs, pants, backpacks, polos, onesies, right? So I've got a onesie right here. And this is a perfect example because as you are, I'm gonna try to change my, no, it's still not. I'm just gonna try to put my other camera back on, but it's not gonna work. So you can kind of see that we've got some um, elements on this garment, like this seam right here, seam in the back. We've got these cute little uh, stripes on the sleeve. And then of course we have the buttons as well as the thicker um, hem down at the bottom. All of those are restrictions and um, they are going to restrict you from getting a flat, even press with your heating element. What that means is if I were to just plop this down here, the first thing that this heating element is going to touch is actually these buttons. And what we want the heating element to touch is the design that we are putting on top of our onesie. So what we do with a printing pillow. Woo, y'all, I just about fell over. Is we take a printing pillow, okay, it's got a Teflon outer layer with a cushy foam in the middle, and we just shove that in whatever it is that we're decorating. And then from there, as the heating element comes down onto this pad, this seam right here is actually going to go into the pillow, giving us a raised effect with our um, decoration and our heating element. Okay, there's a couple of other accessories to help you achieve this as well. But the idea is with the pillow is that seams, buttons. I didn't snap the bottom of this, so it fell right out. All go into that pillow. These are super affordable. And if you're thinking about doing something other than just t-shirts, then immediately get a pillow 
because you're going to automatically have the accessory that you need to print on denim jackets, print on hoodies, uh, pants, uh, so many other things, backpacks. So like this, let's say you were doing something funny on the, on the, the rear of this, right? It's funny. It's a onesie. They say funny things all the time. So then if you pull that up to now you're decorating on the tush of this onesie, those buttons are now going to go in the pillow and you'll be able to focus as this, as the heat printing area. Okay. Cover sheets are also what you need. Um, mine fell behind my cabinet earlier, but a cover sheet is craft paper. You'll see us use these all the time in videos and content, and that is going to protect your heating element and your garment. And a cover sheet is excellent to use because you would much rather damage the cover sheet than your heating element and then try to remove any adhesive, ink, transfers, anything from the top of that. Several other accessories we've done, reels, um, I think I've done another live on a, like five, seven accessories you need to kind of take your business to the next level. Um, but there are other videos on YouTube that you guys can check out to really dive a little bit deeper, especially if you already have your heat press and now you're just needing to take it out of the box. So this is your reminder. If your heat press is currently in your box, go take it out after this and start playing with it because get it out of the box. It's a giant paperweight if you're not using it. Okay, last but not least is garments. So if you do not have a tax ID, then you can purchase garments from places like Jiffy Tees. You could go to your local Hobby Lobby, Craft Store, Michaels, Walmart, Target. You could grab blank items there and just really kind of test and play, especially if you are in the crafting portion of t-shirt decorating or using your heat press. But if you are wanting to make this a uh, viable business, I strongly encourage you to get that tax ID so you can shop from other wholesale um, distributors like Sanmar, SNS Activewear, Alpha Broder. There is a lot of brands that we decorate and show that you can only get through um, those that require a tax ID. Places like Jiffy Tees are, are an excellent resource for you to uh, go and get product from there as well as something is out, or if you're just like, you're just trying to make this work and then you will get into more of the business side um, in the future. Okay, so that's it guys, a press. You need some place to design your, your transfers. Where are you going to order your transfers? Uh, printing accessories to make sure you are able to effectively decorate as well as start to branch out into other um, types of garments and heat print uh, possible items and garments. Okay, that's it. It's those five things. It's extremely easy. If you are really nervous about uh, just starting this business, please know that using a heat press is extremely easy, okay? All you have to do is take the handle, pull it down, lock it into place. Mine's not on, so it won't stay locked. Lock it, and then when that timer is done, take that carrier off and your shirt, your garment, whatever it is, is complete. The biggest thing is knowing the adhesive of your transfers and what you like to work with, um, as well as how to apply it, meaning the application settings, which those transfer suppliers should provide to you. Okay, so let's go back to the questions. Um, so there was a question about a sublimation and... Um, I don't know how a lot of questions come in, so make sure. A 
Okay. Let's go back up. I saw questions, so I was just trying to see if there was one that tied into the last part. So I will check and see, unless Carly, you know this off the top of your head, if they have a designer that they use that is just different um, than ours or if it's in a different spot. I truly do not have that answer at this moment in time. So we will definitely either come back to this live and post the answer um, unless Carly, who is behind the scenes, um, giving you guys the links, answering some other questions. If she knows that, then we'll definitely pop that in the comments for you guys. Ooh, I love this question. Okay. Heat press with your best quality artwork versus screen print, which would last longer after several washes and not peel? So this comes down to application of both direct screen printing, meaning you are using um, a screen printing equipment to go directly onto the item versus onto paper, and then we are heat applying, okay? I have had t-shirts that um, were direct screen printed on, okay? Outside sports, um, that it cracked and peeled within a year, okay? There is heat transfer products that I know people have had for years, over five years, and those products are still going strong. So I really think that answer comes down to a variety of things. It comes down to how they're applied. Are we using the correct time, temperature, and pressure? Is it something? that that customer has worn two times a week for an entire year. Um, and then how it's washed, because in this world, a, a high heat, everything is actually ruining the textile as well as the design for anything. Um, and then same thing for fabric softener. Fabric softener is... It's like the kryptonite, okay? I'm not saying that fabric softener, if it's used, then anything's going to fall off. But fabric softener is not good, period. I know there's people that use it on everything, but just know in uh, the, the textile itself, as well as anything heat press, it's just not, it's not good. It doesn't give you the best result uh, in terms of longevity. Um... I am all day heat press, uh, but I have seriously had some amazing conversations with customers where uh, they've had people tell them that their garment that they got in high school is still uh, alive and it looks great. And, you know, they've been out of high school for 10 years or something like that. It's just, it's really incredible. I think it just comes down to uh, taking pride in your craft and knowing how to really provide the best job. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So Patrick, I'm so sorry, but I do not have my press on at the moment. So what we would do if we were applying something is we would take our garment. Okay. Let me just grab a, a quick garment and I have the ability to thread. Okay, what that means is we are going to open like a pillowcase and slide our shirt on. Grab the 2XL and backwards. So I'm sliding it on, okay? And then from there, we would take our transfer like this. It's going to go face down, okay? And then from here, we would just make that, make sure that that was centered. We would pull our heating element down, lock it into place. I'm using the auto clam from Hotronics. And what that means is once this press is locked, I can let go. And when it's done uh, with a timer, it'll go tick, tick, tick in a really high pitch. And then it's gonna automatically pop open for me. 
This is what's called a hot peel. So that means when it is hot, I'm going to peel away this paper and the design will be transferred on to the t-shirt. If it's a cold peel, then we want to make sure that we wait that the, to the transfer is cold to the touch. Okay. So, Patrick, what's an A4 size? Um, if you want your design to fill the entire shirt, that is going to come down to how big the equipment can give you that design. A craft cutter, 12 by 12. It might even be like 11 by 11. That's as big as you can go. If we are using a 20 inch roll of vinyl that I just drop, then we can technically cut this as big as we want. This is our surface area that we get to work with in length. And this is a, it was a five yard roll. It's probably down to three. I mean, we can go as big as we want or we could go as small. Now, with something like Ultra Color Max, that's direct to film, is this transfer can actually go, this transfer type can actually go as big as a uh, 30, let's get 31, uh, 22 by 22. I would say oversized, maybe you're looking for like a 14, 12 by 14, maybe, maybe too big. Um, but it really just comes down to finding the transfer that can produce that size for you. Okay, so uh, Carly did confirm that unfortunately at this time, Target Transfers does not have an online designer um and carly i don't know how i didn't go to my beloved um so carly recommends going to cadworkslive.com so c-a-d-w-o-r-x live.com i love cadworks live um it like it's one that i use all the time and i have to transition myself to the vinyl designer but I love CAD work. So that's something that you could actually utilize, create your own designs in um, and export as well, since they don't have the vinyl, or the vinyl designer. OK, um, we covered a lot. Um, and like I said, for those of you that are straight newbies, welcome to this industry because it is so fun and it can be so fast. And you really get to be as creative as you want. That's the beauty of this world is if you want to do simple things, then fantastic. If you want to do really extravagant full color, then let me tell you, people are still here for that as well. Do not be afraid. Okay. Do not be afraid to mess up, make mistakes, get your press out, order some, um, Samples, you can actually order this kit from stalls.com. So these are ready to apply heat transfers in a variety of vinyls. Okay, not only does this give you the ability to um, really get comfortable with a variety of things, it's different sizes. And you know what? It's sent to you ready to be applied. You can use them as samples or you can use them as training materials for yourself or both. And then you can also purchase a Transfer Express marketing kit, which is the, the screen printed transfer version of these vinyl samples that I was just showing you. It comes in a bigger box with, I think, 50 full size transfers in a variety of different products, different markets. And I absolutely love the Transfer Express marketing kit for training new employees, training yourself, testing on products, because I mean, the amount of transfers is just insane, um, but you can utilize them in so many different ways. Hi, Brandy. Um, and if you, Brandy is one of our ambassadors here at Stalls, and you will actually find some of her videos on our YouTube channel. And um, I love her for this because I think it's so important to understand that it's okay if you mess up. 
But let me tell you, this girl will hustle and she works extremely hard and she's very, very creative. So um, just because you mess up doesn't mean you can't be successful. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, pop them below. And of course, good luck and just go get started on your business. And I know we'll be seeing you soon. See you later.